Hello my lovelies. Today I wanted to talk to you about self-doubt. Okay, this is an icky one, right? Self-doubt. It creeps in for all of us at various times of our lives. And the scary thing is that self-doubt has killed more dreams than anything else, right? Think about it. Think about your own life. How many times have you wanted to do something or say something or try something, but you told yourself that you couldn't do it, you weren't capable, you didn't have what it takes, and you talked yourself out of it. Opportunity gone. Some of those opportunities never come back. So let's talk about how to overcome self-doubt and move towards our goals in courage and braveness and being bold. So I'm gonna give you three really simple strategies to overcome your self-doubt. The first one is stop comparing. Stop comparing yourself to that person and that person, that person, that person, especially all the people you see on social media because you and I both know half of that isn't real, right? How many people are faking out their lives, faking out that they're having the best day and they're on these amazing holidays and they're doing all these things and they've got all this money and if you really knew what was going on behind closed doors, it's probably a really different story. And you know, everybody puts their best days on social media. Nobody tells you about their failures. Nobody tells you about how they're not feeling well or unmotivated or lost a contract or lost a client or didn't get the promotion, right? Nobody talks about that stuff because it's too real and that would like sully their reputation. So the first thing is stop comparing yourself to others and just appreciate that where you are today is exactly where you need to be. You can't compare yourself to anybody else, even those people that are really successful and that you look up to. Here's the deal. You don't know how much work they've put in to get to where they are today, right? All you see is this shiny, bright, sparkly persona or lifestyle or business, and you probably want to achieve the same as whoever that person may be for you. But what you don't realize is how many hours and months and years and late nights and early mornings and sacrifices went in to where they are today. So be okay with where you are, but just continue to take consistent action towards whatever it is that you're looking to achieve. And like I said, don't worry about what they're doing or they're doing. Focus on you. Stay in your own lane. Do your thing. Take the action that you need to take so that you can get to where you need to be. That was number one. Number two is this. Take out a piece of paper and I want you to write down three lists. The first one is write down everything that you've achieved and accomplished in the last three months. Do the same thing for the last six months and the same thing for the last 12 months. And so any time that you're doubting yourself, I want you to go back and look at your lists of what you've achieved in the last three to six to 12 months of your life, be it professionally or personally. Write down everything, everything that you know is an accomplishment or achievement for you, so that whenever you do have self-doubt and it starts to creep back in, go and look at your lists. Remind yourself of how much you've achieved up until this point. That's what you need to do is remind yourself that you are capable, that you do achieve results and you are capable of achieving more results, amazing results, bigger and better results. But sometimes we forget about that. So I want you to have that little daily reminder that you can quickly pull out your list and go, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Look how awesome I am, <laughs> all right? And number three is a big one. So number three is remember your why. What's your why? Why do you want to achieve what you want to achieve? Because your reasons and your motivate, your reasons are going to keep you motivated, right? So when it gets hard, when you're exhausted, when you feel like it's not working, when you've got to get up early or stay up late or say no to going out with your kids or your husband, your wife, whatever it may be, whatever the sacrifices that you have to make, remember your why. Your why is the reason why you do what you do. It's the reason that you're sacrificing as much as you do sacrifice to get to the next level of your life. And so when you remember your why, it'll give you that extra push, that energy that you need, that focus to keep moving forward, right? So let's recap real quick. Number one, what are we gonna do? Stop comparing, stop looking out there, look within, take action, do what you gotta do, stay in your own lane. 
Number two, you're going to write out three lists what you've achieved in the last three, six, and 12 months. And whenever that self-doubt creeps in, take a look at those lists. Number three, remember your why. Why are you doing what you do? Who is it? What is it? What are your reasons to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep staying positive when all you want to do is like give up and just take the path of least resistance? Don't do that. Don't be that person. Don't be the majority. If you're listening to this, you're probably the top five percent of all of society who's willing to take the action and sacrifice a little bit now so you can have something more in your future. So I'm going to leave you with that. Leave a comment below and tell me which one of those three you're going to start doing today. Maybe it's all three, but if it's only just one of them, that's great too. Pick one, do it, master it, move on to the next. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.